Warning, this is a card game. Warning, this is a card game. All right, you've been informed. You've made your decision. If you're still here, welcome to Across the Obelisk. This is a game um, with cards. It seems like it's got some pretty intensely high reviews um, on Steam. Johnny recommended it because it's actually free to play today. Like, I just was able to press the button and play it. So I figured... I like cards. Wild Frost is coming out soon, so I'm probably going to be playing that, but it's free. And people seem to like this one, so why not? Uh, welcome to the video, of course. On the princess's 16th birthday. Hope you're all doing well. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synemphia. Okay. Castles and kingdoms and such. Every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her, or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king. Lord Hanshek. All over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost, deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that. I feel like people are afraid to do save the princess stories because it's so overdone. Desperate, the king proclaimed or has been for years. Announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. So you don't see a whole lot of these anymore. The news spread quickly, except bro. like Mario. But even the Mario movie, like it's Luigi Many that's been captured. Adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. You know, for reasons. This is the story of one of those groups. And uh I respect that this game is going for just like high fantasy setting. Why not? Uh, but yeah, the game came out a couple years ago and has been getting constant, excuse me, and steady updates. And apparently there's some big update that just happened. Um, so. Energy management and cards. Front monster. Okay, so it shows you which monster. Okay, so the, the big wolf, wolf man, attacks front monster. And um, is this monster going to attack? This green is what it is. Is that a morning dove? Monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal them. Oh, oh you don't know. Okay. Speeding character order. Okay, so there's, um... Yeah, there's a speed order. Chop front hero, I see. So it's not like Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire had a very deliberate mechanic where you could see what enemies are going to do. Like, there's a whole lot of discussion about that. But yeah, this game I've seen, the name of it actually did come up a couple times in regards to um, Wild Frost launching. Like, oh, if you like this, you'll probably like this. It's one of those things. Okay, so we got an event. Event roll. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use the cards from their own deck. Um... We have to recruit someone. After speaking with her, she introduces herself as Evelyn and tells you she's also looking for the princess of Synethia. She decides to join you. But we also got this other dude. You can craft new cards for your decks, upgrade any card you have, and buy equipment for your heroes.
Okay, so it's a little more in-depth than Slay the Spire. Shuffle two poison darts into your deck. Dart pouch. Mana potion. Um, maybe we don't need to do that right the second. Craft. This is your first buff. Buff. Buffs and curses are modifiers to your skills that will give you benefits or drawbacks. Each one have charges each one have charges get m more info about each one rolling the mouse over okay i don't know if i don't know if that was proofread each character has their own deck of cards save load deck i gotta be honest i don't like having to build decks that's the thing i don't like about card games is actually having to deck build i know for some people that's half the fun i thought it was something i would enjoy i really don't and i never have that's why slay the spire is so good for me is you just randomly get stuff and little by little you can build your deck remove a card and it's not like a bunch of time just sitting there putting cards in There's a multiplayer. So here you can upgrade cards into other forms. Looks like you have a choice too. Zero cost card. Holy smite. So, if you upgrade this, you get um, extra damage. It costs more. Seems kind of worth it. So yeah, they, they get a bunch of free stuff as well. Slashing, blunt, and piercing resistance is plus 30%. Remove cards from... Oh, at the church. That costs... What did that cost? Gold? Oh, you need a minimum number of cards. Okay. Corn? I guess Archer is the fastest. First. Grants one inspire. Draw one extra card per charge. Look five, discard any of them. Alright, this is a lot early. Yeah, get fucked, corn. Slow and vulnerable. That would have been another good thing. Bad order. So, cold resistance minus two, speed minus zero. Oh, we all get to go first. So it's it's a little bit of like a turn-based RPG as well. Leaf Claw.
Poison dart. Okay. Locked cards. During your adventures, you will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you can only... You'll only be able to craft unlocked cards. Or you can take shards instead. Yeah, this is having... By nature of having four characters... This is way more, like, time in between battles. And also making decisions about cards than Slay the Spire. Which I hate to compare... You know what? I think it's a fair comparison. Because that is the biggest of this genre, and clearly this is taking some inspiration. I don't even know what to take. So I'm just gonna take a couple things and hope for the best. There's an imp. You come across a burned field, and there's a fire imp causing problems. I will cast a cold spell to scare the imp. And then there's a roll. Fail. Got an injury. Uh-oh. And now I have to fight the imp and corn. I did that right. Popcorn burst. Bro, it can't hurt that much. Come on. Shooting fire at a fire enemy. That's smart. So let's remove the burn. Get some foresight. Don't forget to use your foresight, Luigi. Oh! Again, bad order. Some RPG Maker-esque sound effects going on here. First spell. Shadow spell, spell. Blade storm. Repeat the card. Cards affect that number of times. Okay. Grant HP and max HP. I kind of want this curse card, even though I feel like that might be a terrible idea. Rush into the house and get the chest out. Everyone draws a card. The results are added up. fail. The heat becomes unbearable and you have to leave the chest behind before the house collapses. Oh. Is that a, just a human-ass farmer? Hanging out with some fucking corn?
You can only discard one card anyway, so... If things still do move fast enough... Like, even though it's got a different pace... There's a lot of effects, though. Like, Energize. Gain one energy, extra energy per turn. Um, and Inspire. Draw one extra card. Apply one water. Poison, wet, lightning damage, plus one. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different effects. Enemy's gonna deal 10 damage and do some bleed as well. One health. Okay. Upgraded, unlocked Shadow Bolt. Hold on, upgraded Shadow Bolt. Attack and defense. An addiction. Get extra bless. Again, I'm just, you know. Just gonna be in the learning phase here. Water mill. You enter a nearby water mill. It seems empty at first, and then you hear a whisper directed at you. You are my prey. You are scaring them. Leave, please. But first, I have an offer for you. If you happen to find a strong venom and give it to me, I will join your group after I finish this job. This dude knows the, the tribe. Oh, I can't believe it. It's you, Reginald. I'm Thules, the little lizard man. I really appreciate what you did for me in the past. Right now I'm on a job. Could you bring me that venom, please? You will surely find it in a spider cave in Aquafall Marsh. When I finish the job, I'll come back to thank you properly. Please accept these items as a gift. One of the items can be chosen. One of the following items? Oh, per character? Well, thanks. attack now.
Shadow resistance minus 3%. Upon reaching 25 charges, suffer 2 shadow damage per charge, then remove all charges. It's interesting to build that up. Holy Smite was not enough. That boar is going to perish. Ah, oh, if only I had rapid fire. That would have been a good one. What is this? Gain Fury? Damage done plus 9%. And fast. Speed plus 4. I don't even know what this dude's doing next turn. Oh, everyone gets that. Oh, including the enemy. Apply 20, deal 24 damage, holy damage. Damage done and heal receive plus one per charge and sanctity. Holy damage minus one per resistance. It's a lot, but I'm I'm understanding a little bit of it. Like it's it's kind of you play enough games like this, it starts to kind of make sense, I guess. Even though I know I'm missing mechanics because I'm going kind of quick. Burning shot. Hit and run, you get some extra fast. Apply bleed, we'll get that. Um, I'm gonna choose the shards here. Holy ripple I'm gonna get because that's... Um, damage. Nightmare. Get that too. You are entering the northern part of the forest. The fang gates guarding the bandit camp stand before you, and the path ahead will not be easy. Now is the perfect time to rest or prepare for the battle ahead. You don't have much time to spare, so you can only do one activity. Um... That was pretty much a full heal for everybody. That, that seemed like the right option. Hiding behind a tree, you find a gnome fiddling with a couple of gadgets. You approach him and ask him what he is doing there. Hi, I'm Timothy. I'm waiting for my master. But it's been several days since he left me here. Uh, and I'm beginning to think he abandoned me. I'm no, I, I know I'm not a good apprentice and my inventions tend to backfire, but I'd like for him to come back. Please, if you see him, tell him I'm going back to the workshop. By the way, if you want, you can keep any of my inventions. I don't know what that is, but I got it. All resistance is up. Um, max HP up. Uh, I think that's a better thing to get for that character anyway. All heroes recover plus three HP at combat end. I'm kind of into that. Fresh meat, where there sure are a lot of events here. Um, 
when entering the bandit camp, you see really big werewolf yelling and giving orders to the other werewolves. Uh, he notices your presence and looks at you with a mocking face. That's Yoder, the butcher of <laughs> Synenthia, and has been terrorizing the Synenthian forest for a long time. It's time to put a stop to Yoder and disperse the bandits once and for all. I know him. He served under me in the Wolf Wars. Maybe I can reason with him. The Wolf Wars. Well, if it isn't Captain Magnus in the flesh, do you think your fancy words would change me? I see you're still as foolish as ever. You don't seem to remember who gave you that scar. This time I'll kill you and take your Wolf Slayer with me. Fortunately, you had time to prepare for combat while he spoke. Oh man, this motherfucker. I'm gonna do some summoning. <laughs> All right. Good bleed, but here's the summons. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they got all shields now and shit. I should probably go for the ads first. By three mark. Rapid fire would have been a good choice there too. Damn it. Ooh, everyone's bleeding a little bit now. And they're, and they're slower, too. Not really a whole lot of energy at that moment there. Okay. Um... Too late. Deal 11 damage, melee, uh, and apply some mother crap. Okay, that'll, that enemy will be dead soon. Oh! <laughs> I'm uh, just gonna defend. Oh, wait, 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 what about the poison? What about the poison? Ah, damn it. Uh, poison applies at the end. Bleed at the beginning, but poison after they do their attacks. I understand now. Really should have just focused on the, the monsters. Nice.
Okay, this dude was bleeding, so that that's now he's not bleeding anymore. Yeah. Probably should have blocked. I didn't even bother to look at the enemy's intent. Oh, man! If your team survives, you will resurrect with 70% of your total life. But remember that nothing comes without a price. You will carry the stigma for the rest of your life. It's a shitty curse card, I guess. Maybe I should have been attacking this dude all along. Fire stands up plus one. I don't know what that means entirely, so. Hmm. This is this is a tougher fight than I expected for just a random event. Monster's gonna die. Oh my god. Wait, how do you see which ones are upgraded? It's one card tier. Uh. Gain buffer? Annoying whistle? Insane? You can make enemies go insane? Blood for blood. Sharpening knife. Hair armor. I'm not really- there's- there's like no focus to this deck at all. Found gold and shards and stuff. And some other stuff here, too. A crystal ball sounds pretty good. For you. Fire! Extra discount in the Magic Forge altars and stuff and such. Uh, Ranger armor. Morning Star seems better. Okay. Um, game is good. Oh, there's a DLC. I can't read the diary. <laughs> okay. Interesting use of DLC. Rest and then try to attack behind a tree. Six or lower. Well, that's easy. Success, you manage to rest for a while and you get 40 whatever that is. 
Alright, here we go. Shield bash. Get some extra armor. And barricade. Should have been using barricade a little bit more. Fast and powerful. Pound. I get dark if I use that. I see. heels. Blade storm. Insulate. Right. Resistances. Uh... Yeah, insulate sounds good. Uh. A lot of cards. Not that I can do anything about them, so we're just gonna have to take the damage. Damn. Powerful. Damage and heal done 20%. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's a rupture of the tree. This tree's got blood in it. Maybe it's just sap. Okay, so... All resistance is minus 5% and slow. On oh, die already. Thing. Shadow Bolt. Eat shit. Mm. Would have liked to have healed a little bit more. Now oh, they're going defense now, and they've got thorns too. Thorns hurt. Hmm. 
gonna electrocute a tree, but man, the thorns damage even damages mages and ranged um, enemies or uh, allies. Dispelling the negatives. Ah, oh, summoning. Oh shit. Yeah, I am. I'm not. I'm not well versed in this game enough to to do this. It seems. like applying all that. It's definitely the good stuff. These little bastards have thorns too. This one, I don't, I don't think we're going to survive this. Again, not much I can do even knowing what the cards are going to do. I just have to keep healing and blocking and stuff. Apply that first. I mean, you know, I'm I'm learning, and the order, my order has been like terrible. So terrible. Or at least I have some. Some block going on here. Damage done plus 33%. But at the end of the turn, suffer 11 bleed. That could work in my favor, though. I'm, again, I'm not so sure about how, how well this is going. Oh, man. This tree can buff the fuck out of itself. Fire stanza is. Why as much bleed? The bleed isn't sticking. Need one more turn. I think I can. I can do this. Just one more turn. Yes. Yeah. Fuck you, tree.
immolate. Yeah, poison daggers. Fire stanza. Again, don't know. Chains, also shackles an enemy. Oh no, they've been leveling up this whole time, I think. Is that what's going on here? Plus 10 max HP. Maybe they only leveled up just now the first time. Yeah, I think so. I would have noticed that. The next attack, reduce the cost of your highest cost attack by three until discarded. Uh, yeah, I'm only level two. Got a copy of Wild Hunt. Too much reading. <laughs> I'm playing the wrong game if I don't want to read then. Discover three enchantment and place one into your hand. The next healing spell does plus 100% healing. Well, gonna need that. Um, all heroes recover. Oh, would have been better to use the bandages on the other character. All resistances plus six percent when you play defense get two thorns. Okay, good enough, I guess. Across the green portal from which the smell of stagnant water comes. There's there's quests over this way. The group went across the obelisk. Name drop! And found themselves in another place. Um, the obelisk was used as a means of transportation in ancient times, and it looks like there's another obelisk and stuff. Finally, a town. Oh, we got some town upgrades. The cost of transforming cards is reduced. Removing cards in the starting town is free. The common cards available for crafting increase to two. We'll get upgrade and uh yeah we'll, we'll decrease the upgrade cost because we're going to be doing a lot of upgrading i think where's the card i can't even fucking use this one i don't, I don't know i mean there's probably a way to do it i don't know how Okay, so rarity, common. There's green, which is... Uncommon. Rare is silver. Okay. Mythic is yellow. So wait, is it just the gems then? No gem, maybe? That's green. Oh, yeah, blue. I see. I see how that works. That's how you can tell. It took me a little while to... F uh, yeah. Okay. Fast strike. 
Oh, that's a transmute, so you can... I think it's only, w like, you choose between one of two upgrades and that's it. Blade Storm. This one means I can just choose the monster. Sharpening knife. Considering this is rare. Sharp vanish. This card is removed from combat when played. I don't love that. Rapid fire. It's already upgraded. Oh, I see. I just change the thing sideways. This is already upgraded, so I could make this do a different thing, I understand. Emulate. Holy Smite is already upgraded. Temporal Chain, so that's blue. Holy Ripple is green. We can make that blue. I can't upgrade that one. Yeah, some of these cards get really, um... Expensive. But we can get some lower cost heals. Pretty much fully upgraded there. Buy equipment. Now we can buy some equipment. Can't buy any pets. Time. Oh, that's like a temporary thing. What other stuff? Play, pay gold and get divination round. Oh, I see. Just to get some free cards. That's an easy way to get some, or a quick way, I should say, to get some upgrades. Yeah, the armory. Start with HP. Perks requires three points. General perks. You can modify your perks in the first town. Interesting. I mean, Evelyn's died several times, so she's not in the best of shape at the moment. We can, unfortunately, we can choose one quest or another. I'm going to do the one with the frog. At least that's what it seems like to me at this moment. That was a waste of that card. Yeah, that was a waste. Yeah.
Yeah, die. It's a heal. quest is make sure Evelyn doesn't die. Whenever you play a card, when you play a card, for every energy you use, draw one card. This next turn, hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Shield of Thorns. When you play a ranged attack, draw one card. When you play a defense, gain two thorns, right? And those only work a couple times, I see. Lots of um, depth that I wasn't expecting. Because again, I just, I'm so used to Slay the Spire. And like, even equipment has limited time use. Some, some of it. That's kind of cool. Damage plus two transform damage to fire. Apply one fire lasts 12 uses. Homeboy's gonna die of a uh, of bleed. Dispel one heal X. Oh, there it is, I see. Should have been using that a little bit more often. Let sucker deal that much and then heal. do anything other than use that. Holy smite. The 
with that. Let's get some regeneration. War paint is gained two power. Burst of fragility. Okay. You dare them to bet a boat in a dice game. Success probability 8%. Oof. No. Uh. Oh, I can't get over there now to do the frog quest. Oh, wait, I can, I think, still. One fatigue, but gain two energy. Always gotta start with the mark. It's this crack, blunt damage taken, plus two. Minus one energy. Weak. Vulnerable. Uh, I think that's... That might be a result of her dying several times, maybe? Healing done is better. And next turn, we got some stuff. Uh, whenever you play a card, for every energy you use, draw one card. Bad order again. Requires stanza plus one plus. You motherfucker, I don't know what that is! Shouldn't that be reduced? Oh, I see, I see. So, uh, God, you want to start with the, uh, an attack, and then your high attack will go down to zero. So I screwed that up. Now I know. I just didn't read properly, because I'm lazy. But I got it now. I got it. Experiential learning, everybody. I could have used the regeneration, but it's fine. With the uh, extra healing, rather. It's just a small amount of regeneration anyway. Gem, but I can save it. 
Are you gonna die already, big lizard man? I see, it happens when it's that lizard's turn. Understand that. Lizard's, lizard is dead now. Random hero. I got lucky that it was the hero with the most shields. But yeah, this, this build is not good. This is not a good set of cards and everything. Because this is just like early on and my heroes are all almost, all, are almost already dead. This one in particular, oh my god. Locked means it's a new card. I mean, there are things I'm figuring out. Um, Vile Lance. Pick one cold spell and put it into your hand. Fire stanza plus one. Please tell me what that means. Stanza one. Huh? A card? It's a card I don't have. Maybe I do. Um, try to get it for 400, 500 G or you won't buy it. Hey, I did it. Now I can do the frog quest. See a strange frog on the rock holding a broken instrument and looking sad, he suddenly jumps up and lands on your face. What's up, guys? I'm Gustav, the globe-trotting minstrel. I had a gig here in the swamp, but some crocomen tricked me into gambling and broke my loot. What am I gonna do now without my loot? Can't just play an instrument. It's gotta be stylish. I'll get your loot. Thanks, guys. You'll see how well I play. Here's some money I've raised on my tour. I hope it helps. Okay, I thought that was the end of a quest. That's the beginning of a new one. All right. Well, th it's been been a good run. I guess that's a frog unlock. Maybe it's a, a frog character unlock. That would be nice. I like frogs. Ouch.
I, I just feel like I'm doing way too little damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I really like the game. I have to say I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it yet, maybe. I know there will be Kappas in the non-existent chat. But, I might buy it. The, the thing is, there's another card game coming out called Wild Frost which I played the demo of for a next fest, and it's also really, really good. So how much cards can I play? And the answer is yes, but also I need to, like, live my life, too. I think we'll, we'll just watch the, um, the enemies destroy us. But yeah, these runs seem like they take a while because there's... A different pace than Slay the Spire, usually that's like a two hour thing, hour and a half. This feels like it could be even longer than that, like two and a half, three? I don't know, depending on if there's like three different maps like I expect there to be. There is a chance I have a code for this sitting around in my email somewhere. I'll have to search. Sometimes that happens. I'll be interested in a game and then I realize they sent it to me a year ago. Oh, there you go. I'm fine with that. I unlocked a ton of cards. And, uh, got some stuff. You can assign perk points to heroes when playing a new game. Character perks. At the end of an adventure, the characters in your group get experience points. Um... Oh, Yager's DLC. And yeah, there's th these are the other characters. So like the tank can be any one of these characters. And here's that lizard fellow. And the yeah, the frog, Gustav. Initial gold up, all resistances, max HP. Initial shards up. Reveal one card per charge. Points used. Um, start with some armor. Okay, I used three of my points.
use some health over here for sure. Speed plus one. Yeah, they're a little bit more powerful. You can change their order too, but there's recommended order. And uh, there is madness, so when you beat the game... Um, I'm curious if the new characters... Like, how different they are. Finished game rewards. You can claim rewards obtained in past games. Okay, just to help you on your... on your way. Spending a thousand to upgrade a card. Wow. Buy some rare cards to start. I, I see what's going on here. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stop playing here, but... Just to check this game out, it's really cool. I'll probably return to it. Um, there is a chance I will add another run onto this when I have a chance. So, if this video is several hours long, then you'll know why. But otherwise, this is uh, me stopping here now for the day. But, cool game. If I don't end up having a key for it, or if I'm just too busy to play it, and I end here, it's a little bit harder to get into than something like Slay the Spire, but I also, having played a ton of Monster Train and Slay the Spire, I'm familiar with this genre enough to, you know, get started pretty quickly. And there's still a lot I don't know about this game, but I enjoyed it and would play again. If Wild Frost wasn't coming out so soon, I probably would just play a ton of this. But, yeah, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Maybe more in a minute. Maybe not. Who knows? Surprisingly quality game. One more. It's the next day now, so it's fine. Um, I guess I'll just resume where I was, and since I didn't do anything, but yeah. Um, there's still an hour and a half left on this free thing, <laughs> so I just figured, let me, let me do this. So we're gonna do this. Uh... Barricade. Uh, things with more healing and uh, like armor. And I got a code for Wild Frost, but that releases in like 10 days. And uh, I don't want to play it too soon or like too far in, in advance, I guess. like the extra bleed effect. Uh. Healing rain. All heroes. But then it, it the card burns. 
Uh, I'll just get that. Yeah, there's a lot of setup early on. But I will say I, I enjoy that you can, you know, do this stuff early in some way. Uh, though, again, I, I like how easy it is to just jump in to slay the spire. I figure, like, now's probably the best time to upgrade these cards, too. Because, um... It will lead to a good run, maybe. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Um... Craft cards for your deck. You know what? We don't need to do that right now, but um, accessories, maybe. Gain too powerful. That's good. Surprise box. Gain one of these. Oh, surprise mechanics. Old horseshoe. Max HP. Lightning damage, short sword. I'll save some gold. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's see. Um, I would like to unlock more characters. Corn. Hey, corn dead and one turn. Time to make some popcorn. kill the corn. I didn't expect this to also, the trial, to also extend to today. Try the holy spell. Um... Spell slow and shackle grant one. Well, it's, it's a free card. Uncommon event. Show your weapons and ask for money. So this is um. Uh, you let's offer help. You decide to help them rebuild the house. Okay, get some experience points. Got a rare event on sale here, stranger. Oh, I suppose that would have been... That can still happen. The obelisk's influence is corrupting the monsters in this area. You can choose to fight them under the effects of corruption to increase the difficulty. No.
No. Okay, just the farmer. Okay, farmer's healing. I guess I could have done the more difficult fight. Die of bleed. No. All right. Detoxify. Grant one buffer. Prevents one curse per charge. Hmm. of speed could actually help. It's the lizard again. like five energy rare equipment shop with a 30% discount yeah sure all monsters gain plus one speed that card properly. Oh, I need armor for that card to work properly. And I should have used armor. That would have been extremely helpful. That they they like just kind of dissolve into blood. Okay. 
World of Warcraft Hogger Raid. Remember that? The irony of organizing a Hogger Raid at level 100. Or maybe not 100, but you know what I mean. Hang on one second. One sec. Okay. Plague shot. Uh... Burst of agony. Oh yeah, forgot about this. When a hero equips the same item twice, the item will transform into its corrupted version? Perfect for that character. I kind of wish it didn't just like destroy the previous items, but oops, oh, I had another thing that I had that I didn't even realize I had. Oops. Five or lower. Success! We've got a bunch of shit. Uh... reduced by one. Uh, I like that card. Oh, they're gonna have, um, thorns. That's gonna suck. these fucking thorns expire so I don't take copious amounts of damage per turn. Actually, the only way to get rid of them, I think, is to attack.
This might have been a bad choice for a card. Reginald's almost dead, so that's great. No bleed, no heal. Okay, guess that could have gone worse. Let's see. Poison will kill. But not after getting attacked first. God damn it. Should have got that 30% healing instead. The spell one. Um. Mm, still bleeding. Card was worth it. Curse of Elements. Purge. Oh my god, there's so many effects. Purge auras and apply all kinds of shit. So we'll get that. It's it's rare. too late what this event was. This was last time, too. Okay, we need barricade. Minus two speed. Hey, that helps. Now we all get an attack before this motherfucker attacks. Hmm. 
Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that there were ads. Those are cool. Um, we're not attacking the ads, though. We're going to go straight for the for the jogger raid. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. And stuff. Hmm. Not really much I can do there. I mean, if I had um, more arrow cards, I guess I could have saved the energy. I forget you can save energy in this game. fight in a little bit too. Great. It's up to the archer now. Just need some... There we go. Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Well, the poison... ...and the, uh, bleed... Oh. Okay, now the bleed will definitely kill. But, yeah, there's that. Oh boy, that was a little rough. Sneaky strike. It's a blue card. Items. All resistance is plus two. Max HP. Fill some empty equipment slots there. I'll see again. Level up. Try follow up again. 
Maneuvra. And focus heal. Six or lower. Yeah, we're going to try that so we can heal up before the boss. Nice, did it. Perfect. That's how you use that. Can't make the tree bleed. Our next turn should be pretty good. I'll save the healing rain. We don't need it yet. Maybe this is a good place to, you know, do the thing. Uh, kill the ads, do the thing. Say the words, how about that? energy got nothing to do with it i'm learning a little bit like to save one you know one to save your cards and your energy oh when i played this last time yesterday um i was a little too bold and I wasn't blocking enough. Also, it took a half hour to get here because I know how to play the game a little bit better now. So disregard what I said yesterday. What I mean is, um... I thought it would have taken like three hours to do one run, but clearly I didn't take into account how Slay the Spire, you know, once you know what you're doing and you don't have to read the cards to figure out what you're doing, it gets quite a bit easier. And faster. Okay, 
a uh, big tree. But, again, can't really do much about it. All of my cards that I needed to play have been played. I understand now why maybe card intent is not as visible as Slay the Spire, because there's... It's... There are things you can do, but maybe not as much, to just, like, completely avoid and negate damage. Could be wrong on that one. follow up feel that and then this will be free okay I think I can kill the boss in the next two character turns yep All. Oh, last stand. Suffer one fatigue. Oh, I, I see. So you use that as like, you know, your last resort if you're about to die. This card is removed. So gain one less energy per charge. Don't love that. Reveal two defense from your draw pile. Put them into your hand. Cost reduced by three. It's a good card. All monsters. Chain lightning sounds great. And condemnation. too good. Yeah, some of these um, armor cards are not quite as good. Heal done plus one. When playing a healing spell, gain regeneration. Heroes recovering four, so I'll just sell that too. There's where the quest is. Here's the marsh. Um, so frog. Here's the cave. Okay, so I gotta go down this way. Last stand card is, is really good. Uh, damn. It's a fucking heavy upgrade, that. Chain lightning can't be upgraded. Thank you. 
Upgrade double strike. Hunters. Oh, hi, Mark. At some point, I have to wrap this up. What time do I have to do that? I think at one, so it's like yeah, another 45 minutes or so. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this. Maybe. Oh, those heels are cheap, but they they burn. They, they are destroyed. Jump cards, repeat the card's effect on another target X times. Spark of life, that sounds good. Discover three skill and place one at the top of your deck. Cost reduced by one. Acrobatic strike. Hell yeah. Another barricade? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely want to upgrade the barricade. More bleed, please. Oh, this doesn't burn. I see. It, it even shows you on the card there. That's going to spark of life. I can't afford that upgrade, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do town upgrades. Should have did this first. Removing cards in starting town is free. Unlock the ability to re-roll items in the town armory. Currency retention at the end of the game is increased. Unlock the pet shop. What do you mean the pet shop? Where's the pet shop? Inside the town armory. Oh, you can get little pets. They're locked. All resistance is plus 2%. Yeah, a lot of these are locked. I can get bunny. <laughs> I, got a, I got a pet bunny now. Fuck. I like this game. <laughs> I like this game. my many names, but the dart pouch kind of sucks. Look at that, because of the re-rolls. Dart pouch is fine, I, I suppose. Ready. Let's uh let's do this. Hell no, I'm not doing the challenge because they have thorns. 
Get my ass handed to me. <laughs> I'll piss off, lizard. to die. Bug is dead. There's the bunny. I just noticed the bunny. strike for tons of bleed. Man, the wrong thing again. What wrong order, I should say. Chain, I want to see what chain lightning looks like. Oh, oh, it's great. It's awesome. That's like, oh, what was that voice crack? That's a new one. Ah, uh, hey everyone. That move was like chain lightning, but for healing. Stealth and evasion. I like that. Searing Nova. Oh, it's it's a uh, rare card. Hallucination. Shield charge. Hell yeah, good cards. It seems that way. Um, it's a vi village of lizards. Reginald can help. Sure, my leader will give you a good reward. Try and repair it. Take the boards and use the hammer to fix the boat. Okay. Can get through here. We're gonna do the thing. Um, there's cobwebs and cocoons. Some of the cocoons seem freshly made. They start to shake and there's people inside. Let's open the cocoons. Um, the humans are thankful. You open more and you find two more people who have already mutated. They attack you instantly. You defend yourself best you can. Oh, I see. They, the cocoon people have mutated. I see. Whenever you play a card for every... Yeah. Oh, I wanted to use Fan of Knives. It's fine.
God damn. God damn. Get rid of that card. God damn it. Bad order again. Hmm. Guess I didn't have any melee in my discard pile because I just wasted that. Ah, oh, that is too much poison. I need to heal the poison somehow. Shit. Definitely gonna die. <laughs> Doesn't spell poison. That's the sound they make in, like, Japanese game shows a lot. I don't even know why I keep making that sound. Ooh, One card, huh? <laughs> Reginald, you need to save our tank.
Done. Tank saved. Oh, God damn it, another spider? that much. More energy for the wolf. That's a good card. Having a full team means you can actually buff a party member. Like, you can spend your energy to get more energy for your party member, which is a cool concept. Hmm. Reginald could have used a little bit, too. Hmm. Fucking poisoned again. Definitely gonna die. <laughs> oh well, we get one more turn out of the wolf. Rest in peace. Bigger spider than before? Why did a new spider? Was it a part of the card? I think the card was infected. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think it was. Oh my god! These spiders are taunting. energy gain to use that, that plague shot. It's a card I used earlier.
thank God. Probably are not going to survive this anyway, but <sighs> I just want to unlock the lizard, man. That's it. That's all I want to do. New character, man. New character. Upgrading these zero cost spells. There we go, dispel the poison. This motherfucker doesn't bleed. new spider fucking morons I just feel like I'm not doing enough damage overall. I guess the slime has certain resistances that are making this more difficult. Oh shit, she's about to die. Yeah, this, this slime can eat a dick. This, this is like a dick-eating slime. <laughs> Evelyn will die. I 
just want to unlock the lizard, that's all. I can- listen, I can die after I unlock the lizard, it's fine. Ah, uh, wrong target. Oops. Alright, good luck everyone. Evelyn, Evelyn will die now. <sighs> ah, new spider has arrived. I'm not gonna unlock that lizard, am I? Why didn't it give me the choice of cards to return? I don't understand. Maybe, maybe I never understood. Okay, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Fucking hell, I'm not gonna unlock that lizard, am I? They give you the chance to try again, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go for the spider this time, because the spider is what's clearly causing the most problems. By creating new spiders. If I can even do that. Come on, spider. God damn, that's 20 armor on the spider. Man, I don't, I don't even think a new turn is going to solve this problem. You know, can't even do anything to this front monster. That 
little spider taunted. I'm doing a little better, I think. I just need to get rid of Spider. Yeah, fuck off. Die, Spider. Should have given the extra energy to Reginald here. Poison. More. More poison. New shitty spider just dropped. do much except attack a tiny spider. Wrong target. Yeah, I know she's dead. Original, uh, uh, Magnus has sacrificed himself. Come on, come on, we just got we just gotta take out this thing.
I, this is this is like n insane. This is just insanity. Uh. Just try in different orders. So I'm gonna try one more time, and then if I if I lose, I'm done. I hate the slime so much. Oh man, do I hate that slime! Got a shield. Damn, I could really use that spectral missile. I guess the sooner I destroy one of them, the more chances I have. Okay, that dude's dead now. One down. Light at the wrong time. Always gotta check my order. Even in Slay the Spire, after like 200 hours of that game, I still do the wrong shit. I just wanna unlock the lizard and then I can be done. And I have 10 minutes before I have something to do, I have a call. healing for Evelyn, so Evelyn will die. It just is so strong. It just is. So, it's so strong. This thing. Yeah, we know. It does take a little tiny bit of bleed damage, but not that much. I just cannot believe how strong the slime is. It's it, it's insane. It's insane. Reginald has to attack it because Reginald can actually do damage to it. It's too resistant to almost anything else. Oh, 
Why doesn't that work? Anything while it's stealth. Oh. On just a couple more hits, just a couple more hits. Yeah, fuck you. And it doesn't even matter. Come on, six or more. Success. Oh, never mind. There's no success here. We're fucked. <laughs> oh, great. Fail. All right. Well, it's been uh, it's been good. This game is cool. It, it wow. It's it's a real nightmare to unlock new characters in this game, huh? I didn't realize there was a whole spider layer. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this kind of shit. The, the, like, clearly my build... I couldn't even get past that one fight, so... Going through a spider layer after that is just not gonna happen. However, the challenge of the game... almost makes me want to buy it. But like I said, Wild Frost is out soon, and I have a key for that. I'm gonna play that maybe next week. But, uh, alright. I'm just gonna let them kill me. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I actually really enjoyed my time with this. I'm glad it was free for a little bit, just to see what it was like. Uh, I'm gonna say that... I still like Slay the Spire better, but... That's just, to me, that's, like, kind of obvious. Um, I might like this slightly more than Monster Train, though, which I did enjoy Monster Train quite a bit, but... Something about it didn't quite stick the same way Slay the Spire did. Um... Plus two perk points. So I guess the more you fail, the more you, you know, continue to uh, increase your character's growth. Well, thanks for watching Across the Obelisk. Definitely not Slay the Spire. It is Across the Obelisk. Very different things. But I'm glad that this happened um, because I enjoyed playing it as much as maybe hopefully you enjoyed watching it, which maybe you didn't, but that's okay. Anyway hope you have a good day. Take care and goodbye.